so the main aim of uh, making this youtube channel is to discuss about various uh, ecgs and to help you to master ecg at the easiest way so we will be discussing small small topics so that it will be very easy you to learn ecg so uh, first of all i welcome all of you to the program okay so first day so here we will be discussing about how we can take the ecg or how we are keeping the various leads in the ecg okay so from this picture it is very clear how we are keeping the uh, six ecg leads okay so here you can see this is the lead v1 which is kept in the right fourth intercostal space this is the first intercostal space this is the second this is the third and this is the fourth intercostal space and you can see that the in the fourth intercostal space it is kept just lateral to the sternum so next is the v2 v2 is just in the opposite side that is it is also in the fourth intercostal space lateral to the sternum the v1 is in the fourth right intercostal space and v2 is in the fourth left intercostal space okay so this is the lead v2 so next is the lead v3 you can see the lead v3 which is kept in between v2 and v4 so first we will be discussing about the v4 so you can see this is the lead v4 the lead v4 is kept in the fifth intercostal space in on the left side and you can see there is a line going down and this line is called a mid scapular uh, mid clavicular line you can see it is passing uh, exactly through the middle of the clavicle so this is the mid clavicular line so the lead v4 is in the mid clavicular line in the fifth intercostal space so the lead v3 is between v2 and v4 so you have to first keep v2 and v4 then keep v3 okay so next is the lead v5 here you can see this is the lead v5 so the lead v5 is also in the same line as lead v4 that is in the left fifth intercostal space but this line is called the anterior axillary line so lead v5 is in the anterior axillary line in the left fifth intercostal space okay so next is the lead v6 so lead v6 is you can see it is in the armpit that is it is just below the armpit and it is called the mid axillary line and the line passing is called the mid axillary line actually you can see the lead v4 v5 v6 they are in the same line that is they are in the left fifth intercostal space the only difference is their position the lead v4 is in the mid clavicular line v5 in the anterior axillary line and v6 in the armpit or in the mid axillary line so this is how various anterior ecg chest leads are kept okay so once more v1 in the fourth intercostal space on the right side on the right side of the sternum v2 in the fourth intercostal space on the left side on left side of the sternum v3 is between v2 and v4 v4 v5 and v6 are in the fifth intercostal space in a single line v4 is in the mid clavicular line v5 in the mid anterior axillary line and v6 in the mid axillary line or it is in just below the armpit so in addition to that there are three more chest leads that is the v7 v8 and v9 so the v actually the v7 v8 and v9 they are in the same line as the v4 v5 and v6 so you can see that this is the v7 this is the v7 so the v7 is actually in the posterior axillary line that is v4 v5 v6 they are in a single line that sorry that is in the v5 v6 v7 they are in the single line v5 anterior axillary line v6 mid axillary line v7 in the posterior axillary line. so if, if you are studying like that it will be very easy to remember anterior axillary line mid axillary line and a posterior axillary line next is the v9 so you can see the v9 which is just lateral to the spine that is in the same line and the last one is the lead v8 which is between v7 and v9 or you can say it is just below the uh, below the scapula it is just below the capilla or as you can see it is in the same line in the posterior part of the mid clavicular line so they are in the same line so this is how various ecg leads are 
kept so it is very clear v7 v8 v9 are in the same line as v4 v5 and v6 the only difference is that they are posteriorly v5 and the axillary line v6 mid axillary line v7 posterior axillary line and v9 is just lateral to the spine and v8 is between v7 v8 and v9 i hope it's very clear and in addition to that there are some ecg leads which are called right sided ecg so right sided ecg they are helpful especially if you are seeing a patient with the inferior wall myocardial infarction which helps you to predict the presence of right ventricular myocardial infarction okay so in these cases if you are seeing a patient with inferior wall ma immediately we will go for a right sided ecg okay so it is just opposite to the normal position that is we have told v1 is in the right fourth interstitial space so here v1 r is in the left fourth interstitial space so this is the v1 r this is just opposite to that okay next is the v2 you can see the v2 is initially the v2 was in the left fourth interstitial space now it is in the right fourth interstitial space v4 r in the right mid axillary line v5 in the right anterior axillary line v6 in the right mid axillary line so just opposite to that of the normal so you just listen or study the normal leads the right sided ecg leads are just opposite to the normal one okay i hope it is very clear thank you for listening